We're back now with Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter and Congressman Shaka Fatah joined us on the panel, a Democrat representing Philadelphia. Gentlemen, Good welcome sir. back. Congressman, I want to start with you. Uh, in the previous discussion with the mayor, we were talking about home foreclosure program uh, here in the city of Philadelphia. You had a hand uh, in crafting that whole deal. Elizabeth Warren of the Congressional Oversight Panel was on this show a few weeks ago, and she said that black wealth, 50 percent of black wealth could be wiped out as a result of home foreclosures affecting the next two generations. What can be done on the federal level to confront the program affecting any number of Americans, but clearly impacting African Americans? Well, I have uh, embodied in the Wall Street Reform Bill uh, a $3 billion initiative, along with another billion added to our neighbor neighborhood stabilization efforts. This would uh, take what has worked so well here in Philadelphia and in Pennsylvania, uh, helping unemployed people meet their mortgage obligations, modifying and forestalling foreclosures until people can get back on their feet. Uh, this is a program that I created when I was a young state legislator. It's worked for over 20 years in Pennsylvania where we step in and help people over a difficult moment. So this $3 billion that passed the House, uh, Senator Dodd has in included the language in the Senate bill. Uh, we think that the Senate will act. The administration has been very supportive. In fact, the, the president has front-loaded over a billion and a half now to housing authorities, uh, housing uh, uh, agencies right. around the country to, to jumpstart this effort even before the legislation passes. But, Mayor, he needs to do that because, let's just be honest, the president's for home foreclosure program has been an absolute failure. Uh, and look, I mean, you could be supportive of the president, right. but the data is very clear. Not many folks have been helped. And in fact, uh, it was frustrating to me when we had HUD Secretary Sean Donovan, who said we're working with the banks. And I said, wait a minute, how do you give them billions, but you don't mandate modifications? Right. Right. Uh, and so as a mayor of a city, you have to, uh, you see this a, a lot because yeah. it's the property taxes. Folks not living in the homes, all of a sudden property taxes go down, exactly. city services. Yeah. Uh, and so on the federal, what should legislation look like to really help people when it comes to these homes? Well, first, uh, I mean, we're fortunate. Uh, Congressman Fatah is, uh, happens also to be my congressman, but uh, he's part of an incredible delegation uh, that Philadelphia has uh, in D.C. What we've tried to encourage at the local level is uh, for the federal government uh, to take a look at what we're doing uh, here in Philadelphia as it relates to our mortgage foreclosure prevention program. I think the president has obviously gotten into uh, issues related to the banks and salaries and who makes what money and the like, uh, I think that uh, the next move really has to be uh, forcing them uh, to the table uh, with uh, homeowners, people who, uh, through no fault of their own, have really ended up in a bad situation. Or, uh, of course, we've had some pretty egregious uh, activities with regard to uh, predatory lending uh, and all of that uh, activity that's put some folks in a, in a bad spot. So uh, whether it's using the model that we've developed uh, here in Philadelphia or uh, as the president has really come down on hard about how they spend uh, their money, they need to get to a table and agree to interest modification or extending payments. Uh, the point is we need to keep people in their homes. Otherwise, you decimate neighborhoods. Roland, well, what I've said is, first of all, we've seen now the first effort to actually write down the principles, uh, principal amount owed when mortgages are, are underwater. And we've also, through the federal efforts, even though they haven't been as successful as we want, uh, a million people have been helped. But there are millions more who need help, which is why we put this $3 billion in. In Philly, we have provided $64 million so far neighbor stabilization funds to help the mayor go in and help strengthen these neighborhoods, deal with the problem of foreclosure. So the federal government has done uh, a lot. The problem is it's overwhelmed by the problem. That right. is that even with efforts that have never happened right. before, right. It's still not enough because we've had millions of foreclosures. This issue, along with uh, other cities, uh, well, cities all across the country, saying we need a true uh, urban agenda in this country. Uh, Democrats coming off of health care, folks are saying, what's next? You talked about this particular right. bill. Uh, but we're also seeing, though, that, that with the retirement of Justice John Paul Stevens, now all of a sudden, you know, that agenda gets pushed back. And so now you have to deal with uh, a, a, a partisan uh, situation here. Uh, do you believe that his retirement uh, will, st will stall, if you will, the president's agenda moving forward to November, or is it really an opportunity for the Democratic base to get fired up because they ha haven't been too uh, excited for the past year? How do, you, how do you see his retirement affecting the situation in Washington? 
Well, first of all, the president's going to put forth a nominee, and I think that is going to uh, galvanize the Democratic base. It's going to be a partisan fight, because everything we've been involved in has been, you know, health care is a partisan fight. The, the stimulus was a partisan fight. And before this president, under Clinton, it was a partisan fight. When we did the economic plan, we got not one Republican right. vote or one Republican vote in the House or Senate. So partisanship is alive and well, has been before Obama, will be after Obama, but we still need to win, and we have to keep our issues on the front. Burner. I was with the mayor uh, this week in Washington. We had a group of mayors. I, we went over and met with the Secretary of Energy on the urban agenda, right. dealing with energy efficiency. So we had to keep our focus. The president has to do his job, which is we need to put a strong candidate forward for the Supreme. And mayor, how do you? Uh, you know, what what is your say. advice to yeah. say? Look, I mean, I'm a mayor of a city. Right. I know you guys want to, you know, duke this thing out with Supreme Court, right. but we still have some other things that have that must be taken care of. Well, there's no question about it. But as the Congressman mentioned, whether it's with Secretary Chu on energy, whether it's Secretary Donovan at HUD, uh, whether Secretary Duncan at Education, Vilsack at uh, USDA. I mean, all of these cabinet officials, they still have work to do, and they're getting that job done on the ground. They come to Philadelphia on a regular basis. Secretary Sebelius was here earlier in the week from uh, HHS. So uh, the the Congress and the President uh, and whether the Supreme Court, there's an issue every other day. In the meantime, there are real Americans who have real problems in real cities, uh, in states all across the country, and they can't be distracted. The right. folks walking down the street, uh, mostly today, are not thinking about who the next Supreme Court justice is. They're thinking about, how can I stay in my house? How are we going to get revitalization? Can I get a job? Uh, so I think other than right. worrying about the next Supreme Court justice having a job, folks in the neighborhood want a job. Well, I make the point all the time, Congress can't walk and chew gum at the same time. It's not that difficult. Hey, look, <laughs> a lot, there's a lot of good news going on. We had civilians in the day before we went to Washington this week, met with every hospital uh, leader in our city, okay. talking about the rollout of the health care reform effort. So things are getting done, and we need to tell just that don't, story, Just too. don't get bogged down when it comes to Supreme Court nominee on the look, Senate side. We have to fight, <laughs> but we need to win on the Supreme Court, too. I got gotcha. you. Congress, I certainly appreciate it. Mayor, thanks a bunch. Thank you.